But we're up before 6 a.m. Did you a. M. Even know what Rip. the valley of the kings was? No. There you go. Rip. I assume in there are 80% of you who don't know it. That's rude. Okay, we're up and running. It's 7 a.m. in the Valley of the Kings, whatever that is. What I don't do you mean whatever that is? Uh, it's a necropolis where the kings are born. What's a necropolis? The city of the dead. The oh, okay. So this is where a bunch of the kings are buried. Exactly. The ones, I think, who ruled from 100 to 600 BC. Could be longer, that's what Wikipedia said, I think. Oh, you even did your research? Only that. Look at that, while you were on the toilet. <laughs> well, I was in the <laughs> van. <Yeah, fine. laughs> there was no time for the toilet this morning. <laughs> it's so cold. It is. Yeah, it's like... Below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm too sleepy to be cold. Yes. Boom! Nope, the sun is hidden behind the mountains. We don't get any heat from the sun. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, and now the sun came out. Now we get heat from the sun. So I'm gonna repeat everything Roberta just said. The size of your tomb was based on how, and how decorated it was, was based on how long you lasted. lasted. So, King Tut died at nine years old, had a shitty little tiny tomb. Correct. That was barely decorated. Correct. Sucks to suck, King Tut. The Queen of England will have a super decorated tomb. If only she were Egyptian. Case in point, there's King Tut's tomb. <laughs> Here's the only a few rooms. He was 18, not 9. Still only had 9 years. That's king. He entered the tomb. This is the guy who followed Ramses III after his son killed him, who was never a Ramses. That. So Good. this is Ram one of Ramses III's brother. Cool. Yeah. Is this a big fancy tomb? Whoa. How many guy? Many. Many where? In general. A lot? Oh, you mean like a like One nesting doll? The Three. Could be up. I don't know how many these have, but could we go up to seven to? Okay, now we're checking out Ramses the Ninth, whoever that is. Which one is the god and which one is the king? The god is the one receiving the offering. So this guy on the right. Yes. And the king is the guy giving the offering. Correct. You can also recognize the king, the god by the crown. On your side, and when the god is present, the god has a beard, and the king doesn't. Oh man, the shit beards. Yes. Monkey. Beetle. Quack. Okay. Okay. Wow. Here it is. Final. Finality. And we enter tomb three, tomb of someone who we don't know. Let's We're gonna out. find out, yep. We're not sure how long Ramses III ruled for, but his tomb is giant. So it must have been forever. Or at least a really long time.
Man, this tomb goes on forever. No photos. Oh, we're breaking some rules over here. Well, so that was probably the sarcophagus. Yeah, the burial chamber. Oh man, burial chamber. Well, it says no photos, but we're taking a video. So that's not a photo. All so these we're other, not all rules. these other people are breaking the rules. We're not. And this really ornate tomb. Yeah, the ceiling is pretty dope. I know. There's my favorite guy, Anubis. So here's what Anubis would do with the kings. He would, when they died, he would weigh them against a feather. With the, he would exactly. He would weigh their heart against a feather with a scale, and if the heart weighed more than the scale, uh, more than the heart, bleh, if the heart weighed more than the feather, he would eat it, and it would never come back. But if the heart was lighter than the feather, yes. they would float up into heaven yes. and be in paradise. <laughs> Sounds like it's more brutal than. Uh, other religions, we could at least theoretically escape from hell, even though it's very theoretical. It doesn't happen too often. So you want to know why that tomb was so elaborate and pretty and ornate and huge? Because this dude ruled for 31 years. What is Ramses III famous for? For his domestic building program. A consolidation of law and order, as well as a tree planting program. Look at him, he was an environmentalist thousands of years before it was cool. I don't see any trees. I mean, either. It looks pretty dry here. <laughs> it never rains. How could you plant trees here? Only along the Nile. They said, they said it literally never rains here ever. <laughs> well, <laughs> he ruled for 31 years. Look at that, we accomplished all this, we saw all the tombs, well three tombs, there's a bunch more tombs, but we only saw three, actually it was plenty, plenty. all before 9am. Now we have two more sites. We do? Yes. Rip. We're gonna look at, um, what is it, the temple of the only woman pharaoh? The temple of doom? No, she's only the temple of the only female pharaoh. Sounds like she is doom. Okay, so we're gonna look at that temple and then something else. Cool, cool story, bro. Cool kids always sit in the back of the bus. So naturally, that's where we are. Boom. Hell yeah. So I think we're visiting that. We're visiting that. And it's the temple of the only lady pharaoh who I always forget the name. Ash, Ash, Hatchem, Hatchem, Hatchem Sut. Hatchem Sut. Mortuary temple of Hatchem Sut. I guess all pharaohs just wanted temples built for themselves, so she had a temple built for her. I want a temple like this. Like this? Give me one. So do you remember what I told you about the statues? That they cross their arms to signify that they're kings? Yes, but in this case, and it's her face on the body of a man more precisely Osiris. Yes, the and, and they put a beard on her. And with a fake beard. Yes, so what was the situation? She was 
So, was she married to the ruler, but she was actually yes, ruling? Um, yes, because he was sick at the time, and then when he died, she didn't tell anybody. And they were in the middle of a war. Yes. And she was at the end. At the end of the war, she was just like, "Oh, look, he's dead." By the way, he's dead. No. By the way. Exactly. And she's supposed to be really beautiful, right? Yeah, apparently. Like a hottie with a body. Much hotter than her brother, who apparently. Ouch! Savage. Uh, I know, I know. Savage, savage. What can you do? She wouldn't be good at selfies. No, she wouldn't. I think. Is this where she put all the people she didn't want around her? I think. I don't know. Ooh. Dear tour guides, kindly don't explain inside this part. We appreciate the cooperation. It's a deep, dark secret. Well, it's deep and dark. Yeah. Okay, we're bouncing. Yalla, Habibi. Yalla, Habibi.